Hi everyone. Today we're going to start our first interview question in the series and here is the agenda for our video. First, we will raise an interview question on the stock deployment. Next, we're going to provide a satisfactory answer. Then we're going to have a demonstration and at the end in every video, I'll going to provide one social and behavioral tips to win any interview. So let us get started. The stock deployment is the most critical question which is asked during the best stock interview process and here comes the most frequently asked question. Explain the best stock interview process that you have done in your last couple of projects. And your answer should be Firstly, we have automated our deployment process. The automation of the build process was done using TFS build definition and the stock deployment framework was used to build package and create msi bindings sso configuration and application settings and at last the deployment was scripted using powershell and bts task to deploy the application on development production and other environment this answer will give a brief overview of your skills on the stock deployment now i will demonstrate how you can build package and configure all possible bestock artifacts that are used in live projects and deploy them using the stock deployment framework first make sure you download deployment framework for bestock from codeplex site i have already downloaded and installed this project i have also visual studio open and created a blank solution and a blank solution folder called deployment and source now we will add deployment project for this right click under deployment solution folder then click on add say new project and then select a template deployment framework for best stock project leave rest as default and then click on create project once the project is created right click under solution folder include all deployment project artifacts in the solution to make the demo more interesting like a live demonstration project we will create few best stock project like schemas maps orchestration pipeline and component class library projects so first let's complete the configuration process for this open the deployment project file and add include pipeline element and remove require xml pre process directive now scroll down a bit and also remove item group element for props from env settings next i'll configure all the host which are responsible to host our orchestration receive port and send port this configuration will restart all the configuration host and avoid pain of manual restart of host instance make sure you add this after property group element next i will add deployment configuration element for schemas transforms orchestration pipeline components under item group element the most important attribute here is include which is the assembly name dot dll and the location path which is the relative path of your dll file currently we don't have any of this project so let's add them all first i'll add a component project this project has a simple util class with a single function called generate id next i'll add a schema project it has couple of schema one is customer info and the second one is account master next i'll add a transform project here first we will add a reference to component and schema project this project has a simple map file which has one scripting point out configured to invoke generate id function from external class library in component project and a direct mapping to sap customer number and name element next we will add a pipeline project this project has a simple send pipeline with a component called esb add namespace in the encode section to add custom namespace to the out xml here we are adding happy valentines day 2017 in the namespace base property and the extraction path the place where the namespace will be shown up in the output xml next we will add orchestration project it has a simple business process where you see an input file is received map is executed to convert to output format and finally send is executed to output the file finally very important thing to understand here all project has assembly title which should match with the name in the include attribute under item group section 
I have also configured sign in key in each project. Next, navigate to settings file generator.xml and remove SSO app user group and SSO app admin group row. Then save, rebuild and then deploy the project by navigating to tools deployment framework for Bestock and click on deploy Bestock project. During first deployment, the project will be deployed in Bestock administration, but Bestock deployment wizard will fail to configure binding and unlist orchestration. So don't panic with this error. Next, we will manually configure orchestration host, customer in and customer out port. For this, first we will create one way receive port, provide the name of the receive port, then click create a new location and provide the location name. Under transport type, select file click configure and provide the path of the in directory next we will create static one way send port here provide the name of the port under transport type select file click configure and provide the path of the out directory after configuration right click on the application click on export menu and then click binding under file path point to the location to the port binding master.xml in solution folder and override this file once the file is overwritten, open port binding master.xml. Now we will add pre-processing tags to make our file path configurable because the file path will be different once we move our solution from development to test and to production server. Now we will find the address element in the send port and replace with the pre-processing condition. We will do the same for the address element in receive port. Now navigate to settings file generator.xml. Here we will configure the address variable for backup folder in and backup folder out for all environments, development, test, acceptance and production. Now again save and rebuild and deploy the project. This time the project will be first undeployed, deployed, binding files will be imported with the location settings that we have configured in settings.xml file. Also the application and host instance that we have defined the deployment project file will be restarted automatically. Hope you like the demonstration and this will help you to gain more control over your deployment process. Okay, now I'll disclose one social and behavioral tips that I always use to win an interview. Throughout my career, I have hardly lost any interview because along with my technical skills, I use psychological tricks too. My biggest weapon is instance laughter. I call it as GAFO. Having GAFO few hours before the interview or the meeting creates a smirk on your face for a couple of hours. Communication with smirk make you look confident, intelligent and social. Apply this technique during interview process or while talking with any amazing lady or to any new person it will create attraction and social bond with the other person. I will share more tips in the upcoming videos. Now I'll freeze. Please do like, subscribe and comment about your most difficult interview question. Also turn on notification for this channel to get next update soon. See you again in next video. Thank you.